We are currently at 102 Ravonia, where we have just started construction. Our concrete here is at the moment using 80 MPA concrete for the columns at the bottom. Rather unusual, the 80 MPA is not a standard concrete, but due to the timeline that we've got set on this project, we have to move rapidly. And thus we are using our 80 MPA concrete at the bottom for the columns to move fast, get our strength quickly and to be able to take the building right to the top. When using a 80 MPA concrete, you cannot rely on standard concrete technology and you have to use advanced material sciences to get those strengths and using materials like silica fume or stronger chemical additives to achieve these strengths are necessary. The advantage of using this 80 MPA concrete is that we're achieving the strengths required to put the next floor on within two to three days. So we can move a lot faster than your standard column of 40 or even 60 MPA because of this. We are going to utilize a very unusual concrete here where we are using 64% waste material instead of cement. Now, fly ash normally gets used to 30, maybe 35% of replacement of binder. On this site, we're using 64% one of the first buildings that we are doing this and probably the first building in southern africa we're using such a high extension of fly ash this technology has been developed based on the arc technology or advanced recrystallization that we have been utilizing now for about 13 years um, the cow train we used a lot of the arc technology but we have processed it further now where we're using 64% flash on this job and other jobs like port side we are using up to 85% replacement but once more that is slag not PFA. The, the advantage of using this amount of flash is actually an increase in durability as well as a reduction in costs and a reduction of these waste materials within our beautiful land.